So, he just, so now I just check it. Check I'll to make sure the flow. Already. We want the buckets to empty in four hours. That's the key uh -huh. is how long the fish are exposed. Uh huh. So you got the bucket filled with water. Uh huh. And then he comes and dumps this liquid. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then we top it off with water actually to, to make sure it mixes. I see. Just, just water from the stream. Yeah. 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 And, and then how are the buckets secured? Are they, they're over the middle of the stream? It depends. Like I have some old boards under one of them and uh -huh. rocks. It just uh -huh. depends on the stream where you're at. Usually uh -huh. we use rocks, but there are not many rocks along the stream. Yeah. You have to carry them for ways. So. Yeah. 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 But you yeah. do have to make sure they're not going to tip over or something. So yeah. there's one person for each one of these stations? Just yeah. about. I've got two. You got two. Because I have this tributary here. So uh -huh. my buckets are pretty close together. Uh -huh. See, throat known the buckets are a lot further apart than with anamycin because uh -huh. it doesn't break down as fast. Uh huh. Uh huh. So you're going to be out here all day, and, and so you do, or or, or there's four one, hours. The buckets are all time to empty in four hours, and then we'll you call it a day after that. Pretty, we'll start, I guess, with rotenone. I've only used it once. The fish start dying right away with anamycin. It can take a day or uh -huh. even over a day. So uh -huh. we're going to see, like a, my bucket, just over the little hump there. There's a live car just above it with six trout in it. Uh huh. So I'll be watching them too to see. It's above my bucket, so it'll be the bucket way above uh -huh. that impacts them and whatever's uh -huh. above. Uh -huh. How long it takes for them to uh -huh. show facts. Uh -huh. And then we should be seeing the other fish in here dying, I guess, pretty soon. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Are you scooping them up too? Or not? We're supposed to, yeah, we're going to collect them. Not all today. Some of we're going to collect They don't them. flow downstream or are they are there catchment stations? They'll float a little bit. But you just kept them. They'll, they'll hang up just like any You have a gloves. special net for that or no? Or how do you do yeah, it? These guys do have nets. I'll just use gloves. I didn't bring a special net. I uh, just throw them. You, you work for the Fish and uh, Wildlife or you work for the... the regional biologist for the Forest uh, Service. Oh, the regional biologist for the Forest Service. Yeah. So you designed this whole program too or not? No, the fish and, uh, the game and fish guys did all the logistics. The logistics. Uh -huh. And then we helped do the environmental analysis. Uh -huh. And then the Forest Service likes to have people out here. Yeah, and so you're one of those people. I am, yeah. I think now I've been on like know, probably 14 animals and treatments and so. 14 antamycin trees, in, you mean in uh, in the south of the state or also here? In the National Forest of Arizona and New Mexico. Oh, no. So this is the first time uh, we the rotenone is being used in this area? For many years. I don't know the history of... Of the poisoning. Yeah, I didn't... Yeah. Mm, since the they, late 80s, I'm t So, uh, now, what what was the rationale for using rotenone and not antimycin in this, this time. case? The hmm. rationale was partly, you know, antimycin has, the guy who made it died last year or so. His wife took over the business, uh -huh. and they, it's just, it may, it's, they like, they ship it to, it's made in India now, and it comes back as a crystal form. It's just this totally intricate global industry almost. Oh, and my God. It hasn't been uh, as potent as it's supposed to be. Uh -huh. We've been finding that it's like only a quarter of what it says it's supposed to be. Uh -huh. We've had it tested at a USGS lab in Wisconsin. Uh -huh. So part of it's because Fintrol is hard to get now, uh -huh. and it's 400 bucks a bottle, and you could easily go through probably 25, 50 of those out here. Uh -huh. So Rotenone's cheaper. How about the price for Rotenone? So it's not the logistical nightmare isn't quite so bad. You don't have mm -hmm. to set out a bunch of buckets and haul them in and all I that. I see. So it was cost and uh, quality control Partly, uh, yeah. reasons. Interesting. Yeah. How about the, uh, how, how much is the Rotenone really? How much does it cost? How much does it cost? You know, I don't know. I just know it's a lot cheaper than Fintrol. Ah, uh, Fintrol. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Wow. So how, how's it, how, when you inspect this project, how is it going so far? I think these guys are really organized. I got here last night after the briefing, and we've all, you know, it's you can tell it's good when you everybody's got maps, everybody's got a crew leader. Uh huh. Your buckets are already out here. Pretty efficient. Yeah, they provided all the gear. That's good. So I could look like the dope. So is it? Let me, let me, let me think something. 
Does uh, does the Rosatom is it being produced by Dupont or not? <laughs> because so. you have the little suit of That'd Dupont. That'd be bad enough, huh? <laughs> well, no, I just I just wonder how world. much uh, intertwining there is between the corporation that no, provides I don't the. No, it's made by Dupont. It's made, there's a few different manufacturers. Really? Uh, yeah. Rosatom. Yeah, I don't think Dupont's one of them. Some other equally charming chemical companies. Yeah.